Good morning. Uh, it's not it's already good afternoon. Uh, what's up, happy people? Uh, this is uh, March seventh. The time is uh, one ten. My hot keys and all those things were not working. Since I was able to fix them right now, I'm going to trade for today. Uh, please, trading is risky. Uh, any type of advice or anything, whatever I'm doing is like totally. Uh, education purpose only this is not kind of a financial advice or anything please do your own research and do your own uh, trades basically that's what i can say okay i'm not a financial advisor or i'm not a broker uh, so this is for the education purpose only i'm using light speed i had some problem with the keys i was not able to trade on friday i uh, was not able to trade uh, i had a problem on friday not able to trade on Monday, so today is uh, Tuesday, uh, March seventh. So and the S and P has already slid down. Uh, go to see. So kind of watching. Uh, let's just watch. Uh, what do we have? Uh, everything has slid down basically. You go to see. Everything has slid down. So I don't really care about these things, just to let you know, those moving averages. Uh, so since uh, the things were not properly done, I'm just making this video for the education purpose only, remember. So I don't, I really don't care about this moving averages. What is this moving average? 10 EMA and 40 EMA. Uh, I don't, and what this one? VWAP, okay. All right, so. Just to let you guys know, so don't fall for it. Uh, I don't really care about them. We can also delete them. I don't know. Can I delete them? Let me just see. Hold on. Uh, try to delete them because I don't watch those things anyway. So remove 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 what do i really care is the macd edit and that is what i care So this is like totally new setup, which I did it uh, as a time being right now. What are these colors? Jesus Christ. How you figure this out? Shit. Hi. Hi, 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 hi. I hate these things. Sorry. Remove and remove. Go on this chart. Probably let's add it right over here. You know? That would be more better. These colors are like card. Okay, this one more better. Simple moving, no simple moving average. View up is okay. I don't go to watch, but you know, it's okay. That's fine. So we are looking at today. Everything kind of looked like a bearish to me, but uh, uh, so whatever is coming up a little bit 
let's just short it A lot of things are filling up the gaps, I guess, then. I don't know. Uh, there was a S and SPY. Uh, hold on. The gaps have been filled up. I guess so. Because the gaps will gonna get filled up. Just to let you know, you know. The gaps, mostly the gaps will gonna fill up. So I don't have position open right now, just checking on the SPY. Uh, let's just check SPY, how it is doing. see a quality setup if I can get one Tesla I don't like these things these things slide down slowly 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 because somebody just sold a big chunk of it so this can if you try to buy this dip you can die for it because the trend is a friend the trend can kill you so uh let's just wait i don't have a, like a perfect setup for today uh whatever my good players are right now microsoft Google mm. ah, so everything wants to slide down Apple Excuse me. So I don't see anything good. I don't see anything good. So basically, the Powell came up and he got grilled by the media. And uh, so I guess that's the power of Powell, you know. So they just dropped the market. Uh, I cannot say it, like drop the market they knew I, exactly what they were doing you know like so immediately they 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 sold it that's what I can say immediately they sold it uh, but if the Fed is thinking about raising the rate the market will be very very volatile and uh, this market might won't go, won't make that new high, probably. Uh, so, yep. I 
I don't see any quality good setup today. Um, See this in a second. God, see the week. I hope the recording catch this up. So This kind of bearish flag. Let's just trade Amazon put options. I'm looking for so there's another problem and I issue I have like a uh, holding uh, every time I'm buying a click uh, there's a flash 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 flash. I don't know how this will gonna come up on the recording though. But there's a flash going on every time, so... If I'm able to make some money today, even like three, four hundred dollars, that would be great. So far. Holding 12 options. Amazon puts sold. I did not make any money. Uh, so, oh God, Jesus Christ, shit. Jesus, Jesus, just dropped it before I saw it. Mm. I'm not, uh, not that, uh, this on the put options, uh, I don't like this. So this market will going about to change something. Uh, so we wrap, okay. So far I'm not losing, and not uh, so far I'm losing probably on the option side of it. Twelve shares has been. S&P is making a new low, basically. Lower low. So, if dark pool is like trading this, I'm pretty much sure they have put, they have a lot of shorts in, no doubt about it. And uh, if they have a lot of shorts in, so I'm probably gonna place a shorts on S&P at this point. I'm gonna hold them.
holding 24 I don't want to buy more than 30 30 options right now okay I'm gonna watch this I bought it in the middle just be shorting it right over here I got this is this was a key level to short it right over here I bought it right over here in the middle so I bought some more that was a key level no doubt about it so this is very very important uh, the key levels to trade so holding 34 options and the option is worth 31 32 dollars so my goal is to sell it right over here with a new low uh, or not even a new low I don't want to say a new low so so far I think MACD has already turned in the opposite direction as well and uh, this might come up and slide down again so if it comes up a little bit more I have to short it again so yes I did two more 38 options losing hundred and thirty five dollars I'm going to pretty much short some little bit more. This is coming down. So we're going to go down. No doubt. Forty options. So far, remember this, guys. This options are uh, zero DDD, uh, so they're gonna expire very, very fast and very, very fast. So these are like put options. Sometimes even the market goes into the down wave direction, they still might lose value. So this is very, very risky. Again. If you don't have money to risk you should not trade this market this is very very risky too risky to trade this market no doubt about it so if you don't have the risk capital to lose you should not trade this market So the 50 cents move basically is uh, is uh, almost losing me $100, $135 sometime. And I'm holding 40 options right now. Uh, cost me 35 cents. I sold half of it uh, I did not feel good so I'm going to short it again but so far I sold half of it 
So in order to make a like a dollar moving averages God. Look at the way it was coming up. Uh, I'm gonna short it right over here again. So uh, because this is a key level to short as well. Holding uh, 30 shots. God. Just like that, it was like triggering uh, upside. So, losing $200 so far and so this is a very key level to short anyway. Uh, so let's see how this candlestick kind of is about to play out. So anyway, uh, just started and uh, 40 shots so far. I'm gonna hold this. The power of the bias right now. Bias just step in to this, uh, and uh, that's what I feel. So half of it again, uh, and uh, because the way it is like moving, I don't like it. So let's just buy the call options. Let's just buy the call options. Just by the call, 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 call. Because here we've seen that uh, power of the weeks um, buying call and buying call. Don't tell me it wants to break down at this moment in time. Holding 20. Don't tell me this. God. Jesus Christ came exactly wherever I wanted so Jesus I sold I just like that I'm down $448 uh, jumped into the call right over here but failed and there you go I should have made very good money but uh, I okay let's just wait God, Jesus Christ. That week basically got me into uh, a call, basically. But I was right about it, no doubt. So, put option were like more, more aggressive today, no doubt. So. There you go, market just touched four three ninety nine. Just
let's just see holding eight call options and buy the dip So watching right now uh, it comes down a little bit by the dip holding two again. If it goes down, I'm gonna buy the dip. Otherwise, I'm gonna just gonna hold whatever I'm holding right now, guys. Please uh, hit the like button, subscribe, be a part of the family uh, on YouTube. Just to let you know, it's on the YouTube. Uh, buying it holding four six I'm buying the dip, so eight. I'm gonna wait at this moment in time because this can get down. This can get done more very quickly. buying more but 10 12 options I don't know how this will gonna come up on the screen in my flush because every time it's like a flushing flushing every time I'm buying the key uh, losing so far $72 Seventy-two dollars plus five hundred dollars. I'm already losing. Fourteen. That's a be made a new low, basically. Uh, that candlestick basically killed me. No doubt. That candlestick basically killed me. They bought up and sold it. So far as making the new lows. So I'm buying. I'm holding 16. Buying the dip. Holding 18. 
So when it's like sliding down, we're going to slide down more and more, no doubt about it. It's making the new lows every time. So find the dip holding 22 in position right now. 22 and uh, was a uh, is running at 42 and cost me basically I'm doing the averaging on the dollar so 49 at this point buying more 30 options so far and So that's my target 390 buy more god it's sliding down more and more thirty eight Forty two, remember these are like call options, so they will go to melt down very fast as well. So uh, the losses are a little bit bigger, too. So let's just watch this candle. I want this candle to move up. The put option would have made very good money, no doubt about it. Losing three hundred and seventy five dollars so far, and SMP sliding down. On some half of it. Just like that, I'm down almost like a thousand dollars already, I guess. So I'll have But more Looking good, uh, have holding 47. I want to see how this thing is playing, otherwise I have to get on the short side, no doubt about it. Because this market is well going to go down. This market is going down. Shit, but it took me out from the, from the po short position and and got into a, uh, I got into a call and just moved out.
All right, guys. I'll probably go and sell this. And get into put options seriously because uh, uh, that's what's going to go down more in history, no doubt about it. So I'm going to load up on my puts right now. Sold. Puts. load up on my puts Holding 40 puts. Sold, um, losing $520, uh, so I buy more puts, holding eight more. So, um, so far I was losing $700 or $600 something. There you go, so $700. So right now I'm losing only $452. Uh, kind of would like to wait. If it comes right over here, I'd like to sell it. If it comes like a little bit up on top. Uh, it Try to buy the top side. Holding four altogether. This might come up and still going to go down. 398, 398 is the level basically you see that the good to buy thing but it's not moving up so the sellers are taking control on this no doubt about it i'm gonna buy more puts holding 10 give me 20 cents more 
on this one. Can we draw any sense more? And like this, 390.50 are probably going short more. But more. It's holding 14 of them. Because this can be a very key level to short. A uh, little bit up. See this volume took up, but still going to climb, climb down. So. having 20 shots right now put options at 67 cents what is it uh, 398 398 this one I'm gonna hold this to like I'm watching it. Give me 30 cents more, my friend. Don't make it as a support, it's like accumulating right over there, but this should get down. 398, come on, give me that 398. Come on, give me that 398. Yes, sellers stepping in. See, the volume has been. Staggering up. Sellers are taking control, no doubt. Come on. Oh, the bias. No. But still, the way it is moving now. Come on. From red to green. 
I like to take half of my position off at this moment. Oh my god. So I'm not even. But I'm not so worried because the sellers will go and take control on it very quickly. Very quickly the sellers will go and take control on it. No doubt about it. I'm looking for 398. If it goes up more, I'm probably going to short up more. Put some more put options basically. To add up more position will be somewhere 350 level 39850 so added two more two more I'm adding more. I did already 30 options. At this moment in time, I'm holding 30 put options and uh, market just uh, touched at 398.50 level. So, there are a lot of sellers right over there, no doubt about it. So, just waiting, watching. Don't want to add any more at this moment in time because. Uh, Let's just watch. Let's just watch. And this these options are expiring today anyway. So Again guys, uh, trading is risky, so if you don't have the risk capital to lose, you should never trade this market, any type of market. I don't suggest you to trade any type of market. So crypto, anything, forex, option, futures, everything. Just like that I'm losing right now, right now $203. Uh, looks like there are buyers are stepping in, but I don't want to go and switch my position right now because it can be the same thing whatever happened right over here to me no over here I guess that that was right over here somewhere over here so
is happening this similar thing right over here I hope it drops now otherwise uh, I have to move out of my position because I'm losing almost like uh, $800 at this moment in time then. because the previous losses and this one will be most people won't they don't want to trade on the fair day talk basically Nobody likes to trade at the fair day talk because of that reason, because of the big volume spike up and spike down. So There you go. Somebody just sold a big chunk of it, no doubt about it. And this moment in time, three. Come on, give me that level, man. Three ninety-eight. That's my level to sell. My positions. So you should go below that.
it's kind of like moving up and down uh, but it should go down and buy some more food options holding 42 food options This can be the buyers can step in right over here. Just like that I'm losing uh, $600 right now. Come and break that level. This is, I want this level to break down. Put a trend line over here, so. Just like that guys, I'm losing almost uh, like thousand dollars right now. So like I said, trading is risky. Uh, it's not for everyone, but uh, yes, if you know what you're doing, it can be really fun. But if you get into the wrong side of it, you can burn down your money, no doubt about it. So.
this at this moment and this can be a bullish flag so god and this can be a bearish so the short term is like a bullish and it's a little bit like a five minute chart it's like can be a bearish because uh, it will not going to go up so long and I'm pretty much I know that very well so Like I said, this is like the bullish thing, and this is kind of like a bearish thing. So I'm going to add some more put options at this point. Holding 60 put options. Losing at the moment thousand four hundred thousand five hundred dollars. I like to sell everything right now and there you go I'm losing thousand dollars but I want to get into call sold getting into call again jump into the 399 again Sold. God. Okay, we want to get into a put. Just check. Amazon was looking good. Amazon is looking good. Getting to call option on Amazon.
holding 24 28 30 call option on Amazon watching it that's the view app I guess yes so uh, it's kind of by just taking control again Holding so far thirty. Holding but more. Holding forty. Just check uh, SPY. Oh God, SPY. It's turning down. SPY. So I'm trading uh, SPY as well as Amazon. Okay, I'm gonna sell Amazon. Uh, I s yes. Sold. Still kind of down. Uh, still kind of uh, down. Uh, Nine hundred and fifty-six. Uh, and uh, Amazon put option call option on Amazon was still losing money so trade Amazon and just check Tesla account not able to find some good uh, uh, basically need to find some good support and reason that's what it is and but like I said you know like this will go into a trend down and that's what exactly it did uh, so if it comes to like a little bit up then I'm gonna short it again just watching it but uh, 
that, that this is market guys you know like i said uh there's no day you will gonna make every day money some days you will gonna lose and uh you have to be very very cautious about those things you know and uh yes uh you need to see how the things have been done so last two weeks i if you go to calculate i would have like made more than fifteen thousand dollars but uh today I'm kind of down of like thousand dollars, which is not bad. Uh, very good. Uh, this, this is a case study. We sh you should know about this. You know, like uh, should know about this because this is how market is. Uh, it's this is how it develops. You know, there's uh, you will go and lose one day. There's no guy who go wins every single day, until unless you have billions of dollars, then you are moving this market. So yes, which I don't have it. Uh, so yes, mm, if it comes up, I will gonna I'm gonna short it uh, SPY puts. Holding eighteen put options. So for 32, I'm 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 just loading it. I'm just kind of loading it right now because I want to recover my money. sold um, or if it comes out a little bit more I'm gonna so kind of losing still kind of losing 850 six sell 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 option sell option sell option Holding 30 sell option right now. Thirty four forty two sell options. Put options. Uh holding fifty put options. Sold and I want to see how this thing is moving. Probably going to buy, otherwise, uh, watching it probably gonna buy calls holding 20 calls twenty eight calls
sold uh, seven hundred and thirty four dollars I'm still kind of down I'm getting my game back up no doubt I'm watching it watching it but uh, I'm going to play some shots again if it comes up a little bit I have to double down basically holding 10 options of puts I don't like this this kind of is about to come up So holding 24. Okay, I'm going into call. Well, how quickly I'm changing my positions this right to left if I have to bring my account up I have to do that anyway I'm holding 30 call options right now 30 call options I have to keep up with my game all right so uh, looking for buy calls again. Should shoot up. Holding 30, 40 call options for 19 cents. They are 19 cents each. Guys, I. Want more? Nineteen cents, eighteen, eighteen cents. So the time is also oh, two thirty. So you know the those ex uh, options are expiring at the same time. So you have to be very very careful. Okay, I have to sell one hundred and forty four dollars. I'm still kind of down. Okay, I need to sell. Uh, 970 we need to get into puts puts I'm, I'm buying the puts I'm buying the puts buying the puts because this might break down very quickly 60 put options 60 put options Sold. Uh, eight hundred and twenty-six dollars. Put. It comes up and uh, I'm going to short this more, 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 more because it's coming down. It's coming down. It's coming down. Sold. Still kind of down seven hundred and thirty two dollars. I'm gonna go with the calls at this moment in time. Holding 24, 32, 
party call options. Fifty call options, fifteen cents each. One leg up. Sold. And seven hundred and twenty dollars still. Need to change the uh, those things are not moving that good. I'm gonna buy holding fifty fifty call options again. Buying the dip, holding 66, 70 call options right now. This will go and shoot up. The whole account is like moving up and down, up and down, up and down. Holding 88 calls. This will going to shoot up, no doubt. I'm, I'm going to buy more. I'm holding 104 options right now. This will going to shoot up because uh, the way it is like coming up, the way it is coming up, and uh, this kind of stick has started right over there. Uh, uh, so just waiting. There you go. Come on, move up. Sold. So far, I'm losing $262, uh, $264. Uh, and uh, I'm going to buy more. Buy more. Buy more. Buying it, buying it. Holding 30 call options. Uh, Buying it. I'm buying it.
candle has settled above, so I'm gonna buy more. God, don't come down. Oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I need to sell half of it right now. Uh, sold half of it and... Uh, buying more this can break or go up can move up or move down so this is a very very key level at this point like a, there is a support right over there but uh, it can be turned into resistance very very fast so I have, I have keys uh, I have fingers on my on my keys right now cannot even wait you won't even believe it okay I'm buying it looks like there are sellers taking over holding 48 I want it because uh, there you go this kind of should settle above and uh, should be recovering my losses okay I'm buying more 52 because uh, this candle kind of has settled about. Come on, no. It's accumulating, no doubt. It's kind of accumulating. There you go. So I bought more. I bought more. I'm holding 70 call options. Come on, come on, come on. Sold half of it. Took some half profit right over there. That's what I did. I'm buying it. God, no. Give me one leg up, man. One leg up. Give me one leg up, come on. Yes. Give me the leg up, come on. Holding 51 options right now, guys. Like I said, this can shoot down, sold. Okay, I'm still kind of down $604, guys. $646. Uh, the time is 2.43. So volume is kind of like uh, pumping up right now. And uh, there you go. Uh, so this is, let's just shot. Let's get shot into a market right now. So 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 so
sell options so uh, still kind of down 366 uh, this is like a tug war today like uh, this this market is not that easy to beat no doubt uh, this is a very good case study you should watch this uh, I am getting to a call very quickly uh, I'm buying it buying it buying call options call options oh come on come on come on holding 34 38 call options sold a hundred and eighty dollars uh, down so far from thousand five hundred dollars to like hundred and eighty dollars uh, getting to call so this is how fast you should trade this market for today no doubt about it uh, getting into call getting into call I want to bring my money into break even or something sold uh, 176 <sighs> I'm gonna wait uh, one drop and I'm gonna get into call again I should change that option basically mm, looking for something more kind of a stable thing okay, yeah this one looks good getting into call 18 options so far it came to the resistance level but uh, showing some strength holding 24 call options buying 42 call options so far uh, and uh, it was on the recent level, no doubt about it. So, oh my god, I want to see how this thing is forming up and by in the dip already 100. It, uh, so, it's kind of like coming up by in the dip. So, sold half, sold, sold everything, but uh, let's just buy the put options put, 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 put. Put, 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 no doubt. Why the put? Because it was at the recent level 62 put options. Uh, and I'm moving up, but uh, it's like a tug of war right over here. But uh, just see. Yes, come on, move down, move down, move down. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, 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 come on, yes, one step down, I'm going to sell it, one step down, sold, so hundred and $240 so far, I'm still kind of losing, God, Jesus Christ, put option, put option, put option, put option, put option, 10 put options, 18 put options, Thirty six put options. So sold and uh, two hundred and sixty four, two hundred and sixty four. Uh, today I'm it's kind of a little bit of loss, but uh, yeah, looking for a call. Bye, 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 bye. Holding thirty four. 36 40 options call options
years old, 184, and uh, buying it. But eight more. If I can break in even today, that will be great. I'm not looking for make five hundred dollars because the time is already three and uh, the timing is everything for me basically and it things are like uh, not going in my favor since like on uh, monday the things were not working so i'm buying it at this point and uh, so one leg up should able to recover everything buying holding 40 put call options i guess yes 40 call options and uh, come on no 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 coming down my friend shit sorry uh 342 dollars but uh just sold right over there uh very quickly and so up fifteen thousand dollars last two weeks and but uh, right now I'm like down kind of like three hundred and three hundred and forty two dollars and it's a very good case study for you to understand uh, I'm buying it buying 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 more sold uh, 230 I'm like right over there to two to three hundred dollars right over here my like jumping up and down jumping up and down uh, have you seen this slide it's like slowly 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 coming down no matter what is coming down so if it comes up uh, again I'm going to put a shot at this point you know, because I, I feel like the, the slide is still coming down so if it comes up a little bit I'm going to place the shots again because this kind of things are going down anyway so and I don't like like I said I don't like the slide I don't like the slide because it's like slowly slowly killing you sometime and sold and 206 and by the put option again puts holding puts see how quickly the account jump to up and down up and down so sold uh, 168 168 guys so far losing 168 dollars uh, trading almost for the one hour 43 minutes and trading is risky again guys if you don't have the risk capital you should never trade any type of a market okay please uh, this is a very good case study I'm going to buy this this time I'm going to buy it I'm going to buy uh, it's kind of dropping good uh, Gonna buy the dip, buy the dip, 
so I'm holding 24 if you don't have the capital you should never trade uh, this is very very risky whatever I'm doing is way too risky you won't even understand how fast these options are getting melted in both the side basically even if it's going up is melting going down also is melting so this I'm buying it holding 32 God Jesus Christ no I don't like this slide at all. I don't like this slide at all. So almost like a so half of it. Yeah, it's about. Uh, Holding 42, sold half of it and put two times half, and uh, I counted like just right over there. It's not allowing me to break out. Sold, and uh, there you go, 320 guys. 180 to 320 is like 100 up and down basically, and I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Like I said, uh, uh, so to be very very patient at the same time you have to be very very careful very very careful about this so I'm holding put options right now so 232 So like I said, this this slide is not good. I don't like this slide. These slides are not good. Just like slowly, slowly, slowly killing you. In other words, like you know, it's like slowly, slowly, slowly coming down, which I don't like it. But no doubt that that means somebody sold a lot of chunk of its portfolio. You know, that's what it is. And to move SMP, you need a lot of money lot i mean like not hundred or two thousand or something like that you need billions 15 to 20 billion dollars to move s p all right there you go so another like a little bit down i'm gonna sell again sold uh 210 dollars in loss guys uh from thousand five hundred dollars to 210 dollar loss basically uh again if it comes up uh, and the time is almost like three o'clock I don't like to trade at the last moment in time because at this moment the uh, S&P is trying to settle uh, and whatever is coming down it will going to go up so it's just trying to find that sweet spot for next day it's not a next day like what they we call them recalculate everything basically at this moment in time so And uh, since Powell came up and uh, talked about it, he got grilled basically, and uh, that's what uh, I did not watch it. But uh, most of the traders they don't trade at the when Fed is talking anyway. Sold 100 and Fourteen dollars, guys. Uh, down hundred and fourteen dollars. So uh, down hundred and fourteen dollars. Oh, God, mm. I bought that call option right over there. See how many things I have. Uh, I have traded. Uh, this is the reason I said, like you know, trading is risky. It's not for everyone. If you don't have that risk capital to lose, you should never trade. Uh, just don't get into. Uh, this because someone is doing it because they are very very professional whoever is doing it can beat the market that means they are very very professional especially whatever I'm doing it's like a zero DTE that means they these options are expiring right and left right and left you won't even figure that out what is going on like even if the stock is going up you might see your portfolio is coming down 
so yes uh, zero dd options are very very risky very very risky so I'm kind of looking for the calls right now uh, 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 uh. there it comes a little bit down I'm gonna buy the calls looking like a uh, wants to go up holding 14 God, Jesus Christ see this very very quickly good buying more sold okay guys finally not losing anything finally zero 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 not losing anything and there you go uh, somebody just bought a lot of change chunk of change that's what I can say because it just moved up only like a dollar so it really doesn't make any sense but at this moment in time I like to end my session uh, I was down thousand five hundred dollars and right now I have recovered my whole losses uh, the whole what two hours of trading uh, basically uh, you know this is a very good case study again uh, you should watch this watch this again and again you know and uh, why I'm saying I don't like this kind of slides because they are like slowly 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 killing you and you have to be very very careful you know, because it can be turned up it can be turned down so uh, this is a very good case study for you and uh, the time is almost yes 301 and Thursday March 7th uh, I have somehow I have voided my red day that's what I can tell you I have voided my red day because it's not that easy to beat uh, the market uh, you won't even believe it seriously I know what I feel and uh, once the market is going against you you know uh, the feeling is like way too strong that's what I can tell you the, when the market is going against you the, you losing money uh, somehow you get into panic mode but somehow you are able to control that feeling it's really really good really really great basically uh, so this is a very good case study uh, if someone wants to get into trading you should you should see this you know you should see this that's the reason I say like uh, trading is risky any type of a trading is risky any type stocks crypto uh, bonds futures forex everything any type of a trading is risky so you have to be very very careful very very patient and you have to keep control on your emotion that's what I can tell you you probably hear me uh, saying like oh my god oh my god this is like seriously and I've been saying like probably shit is coming down shit you know like I'm like because guess what that means I'm like other side of the trade that means someone else is making money that means you're losing if I'm losing that means someone else is making money so that's what it is and so this is a very good case study again uh, please at this point you should uh, still kind of watching it please subscribe uh, hit a like button and uh, yes uh, share with your friends whoever wants to get into trading uh, they should watch this so I have a, a somebody somebody basically text me yesterday and one of the guy who's a very good friend of mine he asked me uh, that uh, what about AI trading uh, so I want to just want to let you know AI can trade that's right but AI doesn't make money do you understand what I mean AI can trade but AI cannot make money why I say that because the AI might able to see how many buyers and sellers but whoever is buying it the big chunk of it that's how the S&P will going to move so AI doesn't know which side the market will going to move at some point you understand so AI might yes might find that algorithm that's what it is you know like a uh, going up or going down but uh, yes it won't make money it may trade for you but it won't understand 
uh, what the banks are doing, what the big boys are doing, because there are a lot of orders which are flowing are after the market close, basically. Most banks are buying it or selling it after the market close, okay? So today's fear was because uh, Powell got grilled and he said something which I'm pretty much sure and bought the market down. But big banks will go and buy this because if someone is selling it, somebody wants to buy it, right? And uh, most of the traders, I can tell you, they sold it and somehow uh, when all the people are selling it, the rich people and the big banks, they started buying it. And when they're selling it, you are you are buying it. That's what it is. You know, it's like a, that's how the game it is, basically. And uh, again, AI is a very good, uh, my point was like, uh, uh, the mo whoever has the most money, they make money. But AI doesn't have the most money. AI doesn't create money. You might able to trade AI with the crypto because uh, crypto has been done electronic, you know, and uh, it's like a digital money. So that can be really, really tricky regarding the AI uh, because Bitcoin is like a digital money, but US dollar is not a digital money anymore. Anyway, you know, it might, Fed is thinking about to do those things, but yes, that AI might, let's see how the AI will going to make that money. But yes, you know, uh, it's kind of still kind of new. People are doing it. Some, someone called me and you even said like, they can set up like this for you, for me basically. And you don't have to worry. It makes 100% guarantee. That's nothing called 100% guarantee. Even he said, like, if he lose money, he will going to pay me money. Come on, that's, think about this statement. He said, like, even if I lose money with his, uh, with his software, whatever the AI thing is, that he will going to pay me. No, I don't think so. That doesn't make sense to me at all because uh, it really doesn't know how to make money. It will going to run the algorithm for you, you know, like the way you design it, okay? It might buy and hold and buy and sell all those things, no doubt. But uh, it uh, it won't. Uh, at some point, it will gonna fail because, like I said, you know, like uh, uh, most people, whoever is making money, they send. They do trading after hour, and after hour is the one whoever holding the exchange and all. You know, like they know exactly. So when the trading has been closed, the AI don't, won't understand whether they are buying it or whether they are selling it, right? Think about this statement. When the trading is closed, when the New York uh, Stock Exchange is closed at 4, an option trading will be stopped uh, at 4.15. Think about this statement it, when, when it's closed and when the big banks, which is like a dark pool, which is trading after hour, after 4 p.m. to like for that one hour trading to like, a, they have like still like a, 5 30 when the futures market is closed so they have still that time that is called after hour for the dark pool how the your ai will going to understand because at that time everything is closed so if somebody sold a big chunk of it like 15 billion dollars to like 20 billion dollars and the s p is running right now on 400 i'm just giving you the example it will be down anyway and the moment when the ai will going to sell it it's already down. So, you know what? Uh, I still kind of believe that this still is a good way of making money. AI probably will going to make money, no doubt about it. But uh, right now, I'm not. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying the uh, this about the AI. All right, guys. Uh, uh, please uh, join the family again uh, it's already past my time and i was not able to make money today but i'm not able to lose money today also but lose money on the probably on the brokerage side because there's a huge uh, uh what do you call it a commission so probably lost on the brokerage side but so far i'm not making any money so yes uh Thanks. Uh, I'm going about to close my session. You know, uh, please uh, keep it positive. You know, uh, that's what I can tell you. Keep it positive. And uh, 
nothing much nothing less and i'm about to close my session all right guys peace if you are making money you've made money, some money please let me know it's always good to know if somebody made money and i didn't make money but i'm my feelings are like normal but i'm still kind of happy because i was losing anyway you saw the results right over there all right guys bye Let's stop.